Yo! I actually made a video just like this a couple years ago, but it kind of sucked because I had a shittier camera and I didn't have the audio set up correctly, so you didn't really hear with good enough clarity what I was trying to show you, but this should be a lot better. Uh, I wanted to just show you a bunch of sounds from classic video games that I got in the form of sound fonts, which I don't think anyone really uses these anymore. I wasn't using them when they were popular, I kind of just found out about them now, but they're like, they're libraries you can use in your recording software that were in a specific format, SF2 or uh, SFZ, and um, I found a bunch of them from classic games, the actual sounds that were used to make games like Super Mario 64, Zelda 64, Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario World, Perfect Dark, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VI, Earthbound, stuff like that. And um, not just, not just, you know, there's the synthesizer sounds like the instruments and stuff, and then there's the sound effects as well. So I'm going to show you some of that cool stuff, see if you can identify it before I tell you what it is. You probably will, who knows, we'll see. How about this one, for instance? That's the electric piano, which was used in Jolly Roger Bay or Dire Dire Docks. Same song, different names, but you know what that is, right? And then there's this here piano sound from a pretty popular game. Super Mario 60, Super Mario World, Super Mario World. I know what I'm talking about. How about this one? Corneria from Star Fox. There's a lot of cool stuff from Star Fox. I'll show you. There's this voice right here, for instance. Incoming enemy. You know that, when a boss fight's coming up. And then there's this unnerving sound. <laughs> I believe that's Andros laughing like a lunatic. I actually, I never heard that until last week is when I actually beat Star Fox for the first time. And uh, that's when I heard that for the first time and I said, wow, okay, okay. Now this sound here, if I play it down here, probably won't know what it is, even if I play it over here, probably won't know what it is over there, but over here you probably will. Forest Temple from Ocarina of Time. And while we're here... The Goron City drums, right? And then you have this, same game. I think that's the chanting in the fire temple. I might have my wires crossed with the temples because I'm st still in the process of playing the game again and I don't really remember, but I'm guessing it's the fire temple. And then you got this voice right here. <laughs> Sounds out of tune though, doesn't it? It's but the notes are are like if I play it up here it's in tune. <laughs> and if I play it down here. <laughs> some pitch correction afterwards or something to make it sound different because that sounds a bit out of tune to me but who knows temple of time by the way the voice is in the temple of time in case you didn't know how about this one right here you know this one <laughs> that's the old song of storms which uses the accordion sound 
Oh, and it looks like I found some more chanting. I don't know what temple that's from, because again, uh, my memory's going foggy. Maybe you do. Comment and let me know. And then you got this right here. Alan song, indeed. We're going somewhere else now, and get a load of this. Sephiroth! Yeah, you should know what that is if you're a Final Fantasy fan. But they got the whole choir here. And my favorite part? It's a bit lagging behind though, so maybe I need to press this one a little before this one. That's right on the beat. So I got all that, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Because it's already been done. That's the uh, Sephiroth Choir. The One-Winged Angel Choir from Final Fantasy VII. And from Final Fantasy VI, we got this. We got the choir voices from the opera scene. It's not a choir. It's a, you know, a, a singer's voice, a soprano's voice, or a tenor's voice from uh, the opera scene in Final Fantasy VI. Uh, I was looking for the female voices, but couldn't find them anywhere in this malaise in front of me. But uh, I'll settle for that. I'll probably do a song with that uh, at a later time. Going back to Nintendo 64. That's the old Chicago stage from Perfect Dark. And there's a bunch of more cool stuff from Perfect Dark I'm going to show you. This guitar sound here. That, I think it's in Perfect Dark and Goldeneye, that guitar sound, pretty sure it is. It's like a, a, a it's almost like a synthesized, synthetic sounding guitar sound. But this other one right here, let me show you this. This one is definitely in Goldeneye as well. This one right here. Yeah, a lot of the same sounds were used for both of those games, but that's definitely uh, the lead guitar that was used in both GoldenEye and Perfect Dark for a lot of stuff. And then you have this sound that, I mean, I don't know if it's in one song or if it's in many songs, but it's definitely hiding in the background, you know, in, a, in, in somewhere in the game, in the music, or, or uh, definitely, yeah, in the music somewhere. <laughs> It says deep sea vocal, but yeah, I forget if this one's in Goldeneye too. I think that's specific to Perfect Dark, I think. If I'm wrong, just let me know. Going back to Super NES now, what do you associate this sound with? Donkey Kong Country, from the uh, cave stages. The monk It says monkey marimba. I think it's just a marimba. But speaking of monkeys, we have all the monkey noises. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. And then there's this sound. That's from the minecart stages, which I hate. And there's this piano from the level select. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. 
And the last one I'm going to focus on here is Earthbound. I'm actually in the process of playing this game. I'm only in the beginning of it. I have it on my SNES Classic, because if you wanted to buy the original version of it, it's, uh, it's a lot of money. But um, from what I understand, there's something in the final credits. There's like a voice that uh, I think some people don't even hear it, or, or they're not even sure if it's there, but it must be there because it's here in, this, in the sound library. It's a voice that says, I miss you. And listen, here it is. I miss you. So that's, I guess they wanted to make it loud and clear for you right here. I miss you. It's pretty creepy. I mean, uh, uh, from delving deeper into this game and, uh, and these files, I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on with sound design in this game. Like, uh, it says right here, your name please is the name of this sound, but listen to this. That's the theme from Monty Python's Flying Circus. I mean, it's, it's, it's another piece of music, I know, before it was the theme from Monty Python's Flying Circus, but that's where I know it from. And I want to know what it's doing in a Super Nintendo RPG. Likewise, we got this sound, which says Moonside Cafe, so I guess that's a place in the game, but listen to this now. That's the Little Rascals theme. And what is that doing in a Super Nintendo RPG? It made in Japan, by the way. And last but not least, we got the Gigas sounds, which... That's a final boss that scares the shit out of me. But, uh... Here's some of those uh, pads that are used when you're doing that final battle. Those probably aren't the right notes, but, I mean, that's the kind of vibe that they have. But then you got his scream noises that he makes. I'll show you that in a sec. This unnerving sound. That sounds like a group of kids in a school bus going off a cliff. But it's somehow this monster's voice. I mean, maybe it's not the monster's voice. Maybe it's supposed to be the kids screaming when they're fighting him. But this is Gigas' breath. That's also creepy. It might be down here. Hopefully I'll get to beat that game and uh, really see what what's really going on in there. But uh, anyway, I think I'm going to leave it right there. I've done a bunch of songs already using all these sounds, and I didn't mix and match them or anything. Like if you go on my YouTube channel, you're, you'll see uh, this song was made using sounds from Super Mario 64. This song was made using sounds from Star Fox, so on, so forth, you know. And I'm going to do more because I love working with this stuff. Uh, but um, that's about it. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments section. And I hope you enjoyed this. See you later.